Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the check-in money flow indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched my first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that right now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down in the description below. You can also find a link to our Discord server. So that way we can all discuss testing indicators and building our trading system. And lastly, you can find a link below to TradingView. If you sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money using the link below. All right, now that we have all that out of the way, let me pull up the indicator here. All right, that is it there. Of course, we will be testing this on a random pair designated by the ATR. If you don't know what I am referring to, that is why you should go back and watch the previous videos from the first one on. All right, also, another thing that I'm going to start doing is cutting the videos a little bit shorter. I believe that YouTube um is getting a little upset that my videos are going so long and so uh, for the sake of making everybody happy i think what i will do is start editing out part of the indicator testing uh, process and so obviously the lines will be marked green and red so that way uh it is verifiable as to the um, entries that I would have been taking as the indicator gives the signals, but I'm going to try to keep the videos um, to around uh, 20 minutes instead of 30. And so uh, I'm going to try to make the testing and me rambling part of the videos right around 15 minutes and, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, promotional side of the videos. Uh, around five minutes, somewhere in that area. The, you know, like this, subscribe, uh, so on and so on. So with all that being said, we are burning time as we speak. So let's get into this. Let's do a 2018 test. Let's do that. 2018's right about here. Let's drag that to there. Nope, we do not want an alert. We want the replay function. Start about here. Okay. All oh, down here. Everything in order. These little arrows up and down here are from um, the paper trading uh, side of trading view when you take entries and exits, but I'm not sure what that is. It's a little bit of a glitch. Definitely didn't take that many entries and exits on one specific day. So I don't know why it has that many arrows, but nonetheless, let's move on here. Um, all right, so the money flow indicator basically is a zero line cross. Um, as you can see here, when it crosses down, that is a indicator to go short. When it crosses up above the zero line, that is an indicator to go long. So with all that being said, let's start our replay function and let's get down to business. Looks like we have our first trade signal here would be a long. Uh, I do believe that it turned 
right around and uh, gave us the signal to go short right here. And so that would have stopped us out for a loss. And then before it could really do anything, looks like it turned right back around and gave us a long signal. Yeah, it definitely didn't get an error 150. So um, give us a long signal here. Let's test out this one. Let's put a measurement on it to see if, yep, that's what I thought. It did hit our stop. I'm not sure. Yeah, looks like that one did cross right here. And then again, turned right around and gave us a signal in the opposite direction, which we would have taken here. As you can see right here, definitely didn't call this move right here which is quite concerning all right so this trade right here gave us a short signal I am going to let's see that's darn close so I'm not sure let's see it was an open this candle opened at One point eight two five seven, which means one point eight four eight two. Nope, doesn't look like it ever hit it, and it looks like it did give us the win. All right, moving on to the next one. Very short explanation of the money flow indicator is that it is supposedly reading the um, buys and sells and is plotting that. Um, the the buy and sell pressure as a line it's a very simplified explanation and in theory that should tell you whether or not the price action is going up or down because of buying or selling pressure. I think it's just getting hammered right here. This is a typical issue with zero line crosses. If you don't build in the ability to filter out choppiness, you will get chopped to pieces. So low. Not quite. There we go. I think we got it on that one. We did. It really just keeps getting beat up on this choppiness.
We are getting close to the end of the year now. See if we can squeeze out one more win. Yep, I think that did it. Let's see. All right, here is our results. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven wins. That is not going to give us our 60%. That did not do well at all. I mean, I guess there are worse, but so far that is, uh, that's pretty bad. Um, you know, what can I say? It doesn't look like it is catching decent moves. Um, it looks like it kind of just does its own thing when it wants to. Um, <clears throat> it's a zero line cross. And so of course it's not filtering out any of the choppiness of the market. And so we get these whipsaws like uh, a lot of our zero line crosses uh, where it just bounces us in and out and in and out and in and out. And so, um, you know, I will throw it over to you all now so that way you can test it and play around with it if you want. See if you can get better results out of it. But at this point, it is going on the no list. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. And turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.